Mother's Day hits differently now. Next month will be five years since Sonia Houston lost her mother, 65-year-old Gloria Lofton. I miss the phone call. I miss the, I need heat that. I'm never going to get a simple conversation back. It wasn't until last year that her mom's death was declared a homicide after 62-year-old Raul Meza confessed to the crime. Austin police say Meza is a suspect in as many as 10 homicides. There was blood spatter down the hallway. I'm accident prone. Even There's an explanation for it. What's the explanation for it? Court documents reveal it took a year for DNA evidence found at the crime scene to be linked to Meza, despite there also being evidence of strangulation. After the deficiencies in the investigation came to light, APD conducted an internal review of how the DNA results were handled. The investigation concluded this week with APD apologizing for the oversight. Interim Chief Robin Henderson says the department has since implemented policies to ensure this doesn't happen again, including adding redundancies to the notification process of these reports. Sonia has different suspicions of what went wrong. And the fact that she was a Hispanic woman in East Austin and not a Susan or Karen of West Austin and my name's not Becky or <laughs> something of that nature. You're catching where I'm going with this. In the apology, Chief Henderson says in part, we realize the impacts this has on the case itself, community, and most importantly, the victims and their families. But due to state law, no officers can be disciplined beyond the first 180 days that discipline could have been issued. If you mess up at your job, are you not accountable for it? If I mess up at my job, I know I'm accountable for it. Sonia also wonders why she got this apology from a news article instead of the police department directly. I'm kind of taken aback to the fact that news crews are the ones that alerted me to the internal investigation being closed and not actual detectives. Mesa will be in court next week for a hearing, and Sonia says her family will definitely be there, though she doubts whether she'll actually see justice in this case. Mesa spent 11 years in prison for murdering 8-year-old Kendra Page. He was sentenced to 30, but was released early for good behavior. I would love to have that optimistic hope, but being the realist and seeing what I've seen, I doubt it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.